Hello, this is Pastor Joey Rogers and welcome to Prophecy Files Briefing. Glad that you've joined me today. I want to take you into the recent Prophecy Files Bible Prophecy Conference with my very special keynote speaker, Pastor John Hagee. You've heard him for years. He is certainly an expert in Bible prophecy and certainly around the things that deal with the nation of Israel. I want you to hear a little bit of what he has to say and then I'll be back in just a moment. But right now, here's Pastor John Hagee. Grace gives you the chance to forgive. Grace gives you the chance to repent. The Bible says that whosoever confesses and forsakes his sin shall have mercy with the Lord. You have to confess and forsake your sin. Then you have mercy with the Lord. Please hear that because we are now living in a dispensation where the church has become so loose in what it means to know the Lord that they live a life that would embarrass a sinner and come to church on Sunday morning and say, I'm a child of God. Until you follow Jesus Christ in the beauty of holiness, my friend, you don't know Jesus Christ. Let me go. Now, the next thing to happen is the rapture of the church. The rapture brings you to the judgment seat of Christ. You're going to answer right here. You're going to answer for every word, every thought, and every deed. Right here, you're going to receive one of five crowns. You can look at someone's crown and tell what they did and how well they did. Your crown will be like a military insignia. You see a military man, you know his rank, you know where he's been, you know what he's done. Your crown in heaven is going to be exactly that. You're also right there going to receive the robe of righteousness. You'll be able, the Bible says your robe consists of the righteous acts of the saints. If there is no righteous acts in your life, you better get with it. You'll be wearing a paper bag when you get to heaven. Not that bad, but not good. Then we come to the seven seals, the seven trumpets, the seven personages, and roll it up so I can see the Antichrist down here. There he is. For those of you who missed the rapture, this is your guy, the Antichrist. He's going to find you. He's going to give you the opportunity to sign up with his new world order. If you don't sign, take his stamp in your right hand or forehead, he's going to cut your head off. You'll go from right here to right there. If you can roll that down just a little bit. Souls that are under the altar. You'll stay there for seven years until the end when Christ comes back as the second coming and he sets up the new Jerusalem. Go back to where we were. I'm going to give you a workout here. There you are. Now, so these guys are troublemakers. There are seven seals, seven trumpets, and seven personages. The Bible is a book of sevens. This is going to be the middle of the week. This is called the tribulation. From here over is called the great tribulation. Why? The first three and a half years is the tribulation because the trials are not nearly as bad as the last half. The last half is going to be literal hell on earth. If you can slide it down just a little bit so they can see that. Roll that up so that uh, we can see what this is right here. There you are. In this the great tribulation, every person that's living on the earth is going to break out from head to feet with boils. The sea is going to turn to blood. The rivers are going to turn to blood. These are the same judgments that God sent to Israel, uh, sent to Egypt. There will be great heat. Hello, King Charles. That climate change you've been looking for, here it is, baby, right here, right there. It's going to get so hot that the rich and the powerful crawl into the caves and beg God to let them die. And God says, not a chance, not a chance. And then is darkness that will cause global depression. The Euphrates is completely dried up. Isn't that an amazing thing? Because it's getting ready for the battle of Armageddon. And right now, the Chinese army is looking at that river 
has to be their highway to this battle. Then there are going to be three unclean spirits. These are demon spirits. And these demon spirits are going into the world and calling all the nations of the world to come together for one great battle. And that battle is the battle of Armageddon. Where am I? There he is right there. The king of the east will come from this direction. The Antichrist will bring the armies of the West from this direction. You've got 200 million people here and a bunch of people here. This is the mother of all wars. What happens at this exact moment? I'll say this because I see you getting tired. At this exact moment, Jesus Christ is coming from heaven. My, red, my, my green mark is it. No, 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 don't, don't, don't get away with it. Just let me do it. Yeah, there it is. Jesus Christ is coming from heaven and he is coming with you and I, the church triumphant. We've been there seven years. We've been in heaven for seven years. We're wearing our white robes. We're mounted on white horses. I love that picture. I love that picture. Brother, you talk about fun. This is going to be fun. And Jesus Christ comes and he sees this huge battle where these people are fighting for global supremacy and who want to take and hold Jerusalem. And he, Jesus Christ, destroys all of this army. The Bible says that he has the blood on his garments. He is going to annihilate them. How many of them? All of them. He is going to kill all of them. I love this story right here. Payday someday, baby, here it is right there. Then Jesus Christ will put his foot on the Mount of Olives and for 1,000 Satan will be bound and thrown into hell with a lot of other people who didn't receive Jesus. We'll have 1,000 years of perfect peace, 1,000 years where there is no more war, 1,000 years where there is no more sickness, 1,000 years where there is no more hospitals, no more corrupt politicians, no more abortions, no more sex, sex trafficking, no more child abuse, no more racial conflict, no more worry, no more depression, no more tears, no more suffering. There is the land of perfect peace and it's going to be right there in Jerusalem for 1,000 years. The lion shall lay down with the lamb. Hallelujah to the lamb of God. At the end of 1,000 years, Satan is going to be released and he's going to make a battle stand for Jerusalem. God is going to wipe him out. Can you believe this? that after people have lived a thousand years of perfect peace, no one has ever been sick, everything has gone well for a thousand years, the devil is released from hell and he gets gets a huge number of people to go with him. That's just mind boggling, but it's gonna happen. God's gonna wipe them out right there. Back to the lake of fire you go. The judgment of the wicked, the great white throne judgment Why is it that men are weeping and wailing in the great white throne judgment? Because they know that they're coming just to be sentenced. There is no mercy here. They're going from the judgment bar of God into the lake of fire forever. Right there, up, right there's the escalator down. There's your room. Then there's the new heaven, the new earth, and the new city of Jerusalem, the world has come to an end and we live forever and forever and forever and forever in perfect peace. Stand and give the Lord a shout of praise in this place. The King of glory is come. Pastor John Hagee joined me for this year's Prophecy Files Conference. And I know that you'll be blessed by the entirety of his message that he brings relating to us, relating to us the importance of knowing where we are in Bible prophecy, and he shares with us several signs concerning the imminent return of Jesus Christ. You'll wanna hear this message in its entirety, and it's available at paceassembly.org on the archive. 
So go there right now and be blessed by Pastor John Hagee. Thank you for joining me today. I'll look forward to being back with you again right here on Prophecy Files Briefing. Hey, share this out on your social media and be a blessing to other people. And until the next time we get together around God's Word like this, remember Jesus Christ is coming soon.